Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll be learning about the manipulation of glass inomer cement. So let's start. See, to have the optimum glass inomer mix, we need to remember few important points before manipulation. What are these points? First of all, for mixing, we need to use the dry glass slab or paper pad, and we should mix the glass inomer cement using a gate spatula. Now the question arises: Why should we avoid the metal spatula for mixing? See, if we mix with the metal spatula, the glass particles of the powder they may abrade the metal and may cause the mix to become grey in color. So this is why we don't use the metal spatula, but we use the a gate spatula to manipulate the glass inomer cement. Clear? See, once we take the glass slab or paper pad along with the agate spatula, we dispense the powder. When we dispense the powder, we divide it into two halves. We mix the first half with the liquid for ten to fifteen seconds, and then we take the second half, which is mixed for fifteen to twenty seconds. And how do we mix? What should be the motion of mixing? It should be the folding motion. Find folding motion for mixing of glass inomer cement. Now, what is the reason behind mixing the glass inomer powder in folding motion? The answer to this question is that the main objective of mixing is to wet the particles and not dissolve them. And how do we wet the particles? By rapidly folding the powder into liquid by folding motion. Clear? So we mix the first increment for ten to fifteen seconds, second for fifteen to twenty seconds. But mixing should be completed in forty to sixty seconds at the max. Clear? So this is how we mix the glass inomer powder and liquid. Now let's see the ideal consistency of mix for base or restoration and for luting purpose. See if GIC is to be used for base. or restoration we should be able to pick the cement without sticking to the instrument and if we are mixing it for the luting the 1 inch string consistency should be there now what do you mean by this see one inch string should be formed when the flat surface of spatula is pulled from the mix cement so this is the ideal consistency for gic to be used as luting cement one thing you need to remember when we are using the cement for base or restoration that is loss of gloss test now what do you mean by this this part i'll be explaining you when i'll be showing you the video of the mix now let's take the demo of manipulation of glass inomer cement if we look at the armamentarium for mixing we need the powder liquid paper pad a measuring scoop a gate spatula and a plastic carrier let's start with the manipulation of glass inomer cement so we take one scoop of the glass inomer powder we divide it into two equal halves then we take the liquid and keeping the bottle vertical dispense the drop of the liquid now the first increment is mixed for 10 to 15 seconds in the rapidly folding motion After this we take the second part which is also mixed for 15 to 20 second in folding motion so this is how we mix the glass inomer cement now you can see that this cement is ready to be used for base or the restoration the consistency is that we should be able to pick the cement without sticking to the instrument now can you see this glossy surface of this mix This glossy appearance is due to presence of unreacted polyacrylic acid which is responsible for adhesion of the glass inomer cement to the tooth structure. And the point which I told you in points to remember that loss of gloss test what do you mean by that? The loss of gloss test shows the end of the working time of cement because by that time all polyacrylic acid particles they have been reacted and they are not available for adhesion to the tooth structure so the loss of gloss test means the end of the working time 
which is 60 to 90 second for the conventional glass ionomer cement after manipulation of glass ionomer cement for base or the restoration let's see how should we mix for the luting purpose see the procedure for mixing for luting is same as that of for restoration except that there is change in the powder liquid ratio and the consistency which we need for luting should be different than that for base or the restoration so we have dispensed the powder divided into two parts now we are dispensing the liquid keeping the bottle vertical and mixing the first increment with the liquid in folding motion now we mix the second half of the powder with the liquid in folding motion now if we check the consistency of the cement for luting it should form one inch string that means when the flat surface of spatula is pulled from the mixed cement a one inch string should be formed so this is our consistency for luting fine so i hope from this video you have understood how to manipulate the glass ionomer cement for base or restoration and for luting thanks for watching stay connected and subscribe my channel for more such videos take care and goodbye